You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another one of my vintage toy food maker sets. This one is the Pretzel Jetzel from Transogram, the Jet Age pretzel making toy that bakes with light. And guess what? We can make sensational pretzels, which I'm going to do for you today. Now this requires one 100 watt light bulb, which originally was not included, but I have those in my collection. And again, we're just gonna mix them, bake them, and eat them. Now a few things on the box itself. The coloring and artwork do not match the actual toy at all. The bottle that you see here doesn't match. And then of course the coloring is different. Some of the pieces are a little bit different. The conveyor belt is different. So when you see the actual toy, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now this, believe it or not, I'm going to give a little bit of information here. It's from 1965, and it's older than me, okay? And then let me tell you this. There is a wiki page, or wiki page, however you say it, that says I am 70 years old. That is totally bogus. Everything on that page is actually pretty bogus. So don't follow what you read on the Internet. It is not true information. So what I want to do is flip the box over, but I need to do that off camera, come back and we'll check out another one of the artwork panels. Okay, here is one of the side panels. Now this panel and the associated side panel are exactly the same. Not much more here, it just says bake mouthwatering, tasty, crunchy pretzels. So we're not actually baking like a soft pretzel. So let me show you the back side of the box. Not much there, but for history, I do want to show it to you. Okay, not much here. Why do I show you the box? Because it's actually just part of the toy, part of the history, and I like to show that just for future generations as you can see it says 1965 transogram this is number 3990 and it looks like they just shipped it to you right in this box so that's probably why not many of these boxes has survived now i just want to show you one of the end panels because they're the same but it kind of shows you the logo and just a little bit more information all right so this is the end panel i did want to show you the cool transogram logo toys and games since 1915 and then the store would also put their price on that so you just grab it right off the shelf so when i come back now i'm going to have this on the table and we will check it out and you'll see what i'm talking about in regards to the coloring and then i'll show you how it works all right here we go now you can see how different it is to the actual box couple main things this is all brown on the picture okay this is just molded with the yellow it's like a mustardy yellow and then the belt is white and not green. The sign is red and not black. That's kind of it. There's a few more little details. Of course, here's the bottle. Now the bottle might have had a green sticker on it. I've seen it on other ones, but I don't have it on this one. Instruction booklet. And then this little card that said, 100 watt light bulb, use small size. Now I have it kind of set in a position because you can see these springs. It's a spring loaded band. And as I turn this, the pretzels move into the oven side, which would be right here, and then they come out when they're cool, they should drop off into this side, and then they want you to stack them on this dowel rod there. Now we know they're going to be crunchy and not soft, so we'll have to see how that turns out as I make them. And then what I'm going to do now is actually take the top off. I want to show you inside. All right, I do have the screws out. Now you get a peek here. What's inside? It's actually just cardboard with like a metal coating on it. There's the bulb, by the way. Not much more to it than that. And then this is how this turns. You see that in there? And there's really nothing on the bottom. It's all just open and exposed. So that's pretty much it. I'll just be turning, baking for a certain amount of time, and then following my little factory here. Now, again, I had to take all of these off. They're on these little metal tabs that poke through the fabric they were all pretty much broken this was covered in old pretzel stuff so i had to soak this wash it clean the trays and all these different processes to get this where it's at right now so i should be able to get this back on i will come back when this is all screwed back in and then i will start the process of making pretzels okay i know some of you are saying just get to the process i don't want to see all this other stuff but i need to kind of go through my system here i'm showing you that i am going to use the easy bake pretzel mix but i'm going to modify it okay and i did want to show you this cool booklet because i think that in itself is pretty fun to look at it's a cartoon style instruction booklet which takes you through all the processes yes dad 
has a pipe while he's playing with his pretzel jetzel. And then here is the how you take the top off. My little uh, pretzel jetzel sign is in place right now, but it's broken, so I had to kind of modify that. So you'll see that. It might fall, but we'll do the best we can. And then it takes you through the whole process, how to mix it. I'm actually going to be putting butter in there, and I think that's what helps with the browning process. Smooth when the large mixing spoon stir. Well, with the large mixing spoon, stir the mixture until it is smooth. Pretty neat. Take you through the process, salt it. All the different things you need to do. Of course, the warnings. He's got his fingers burning right there. And then at the end, it gives you some little important information from the kitchen police. And then how to reorder. And that's about it. All right, so now I'm going to officially get started for those of you who have been waiting. I'll be back now. Got to grab a few more supplies, and then I will make the pretzels. All right, everything is ready. Butter, water. I have the Easy Bake mix. I have the Easy Bake coarse salt, which I'm going to use. I'll put that in a bowl in just a little bit. Now, these must be wax sealed, so that's probably why I'm allowed to do this. And probably easier to get into this. You just probably squish it right in. So, it originally calls for 10 spoonfuls of hot tap water, but I know I need at least... 14 to get the right consistency three stop talking four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i'm gonna do 14 13 and 14 okay it's holding really good and then two spoonfuls of butter let me get my spatula here it's warm from the uh, from the hot water. Okay, now that is definitely not part of the easy bake process. I think what's going to happen is, plus you're putting butter on the trays, it's going to help in the browning process. Now mix that till it's dissolved. Now with the hot water, it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully it's not leaking through. Okay, open package of our special mix. And pour in a paper cup with water, with the water, stirring as you pour. Okay, so I'm not ready yet, but I'm close. All right, here we go. And what I think I'm gonna do is have to plug this in in just a minute here. And now, the mix. Now the Easy Bake Mix normally is not... Uh, well, it's actually you got to form it and shape the pretzels. This needs to pour out of a bottle and then pour onto the trays. So it needs to be more liquefied, so that's why I modified this. I think that's the consistency we want here. You want it to hold its shape, but then also pour out. All right, I'm going to mix this a little bit, get my oven on, because that needs to be warm. And then I'm going to come back now and move that to the bottle. Okay, been mixing a little bit more. I switched this around because they showed this side of the mixer, but I think either side works. And now this has to go into my bottle. Let's just see if anything leaked out underneath. No, it is still pretty good. Let's see if this just pours right in. That's what we want. Now it doesn't tell you how many pretzels you're gonna get out of this, so I might, we'll see, I might have to mix another pack. Well, I wonder if a spatula will work better, just trying to get this out. Here, let me use this white one, that's a little smaller. It smells like pretzels. I've used the Easy Bake mix before, so I know that it should be okay. Oh, I just ripped a little hole, so you do have to be careful. All right, so the oven's been heating up. Now I need to butter the first tray, which I'll do when I come back. 
and then I'll start with the pretzels. Here we go. Moving right along. Okay, here we go. I had to make some modifications. My tray, actually two trays fell off, and then I realized I needed to switch them around, switch the belt around, which I did. So, now what they show here is this being, after putting it in the bottle, which I did, they show you buttering the tray. Now look how much butter they show on there. That's quite a bit. I'm just going to take a little melted butter with one of these little butterers. Basters, you know, I know what it is. I just sometimes, you know, don't always think about it. And I bet you this is going to help with the cooking process and browning process. I think I got enough on there. I don't want to put too much because then it's going to get all bubbly and buttery. Oh, that can't be too bad. See these little holes here? That's where I think the last person got a lot of the mixture through those holes. So here we go. Well, let me just double check now. Do they show a specific pattern? Like, do they want it to cross over in any way? Okay, this going this way, they show it going and then probably all the way around. Let's see. Let's try it. I know everything's bright. I'm not sure about the lighting on this because it's hard when you have extra lights that normally aren't in there from the actual oven. Well, let me get some down. And then it looks like they're going to go all the way across this one. And then over this. And then through this. To that end. And then, of course, I got to get these. The pretzel sticks. Okay, so here's the process. Now I move this in to the baking side. Now, you probably won't be able to see it because it's so bright, but I'll give you a quick look inside. Now, sometimes my trays need to line up just right. Okay, first tray is in, so let me just give you a quick look inside, and then I'll get this one ready. All right, you get just a hint of it just there, just a little bit. It's so bright in there. So what I'm going to do now is just continue the process. I think I'm going to let this go. Well, I'll do it the original seven minutes, like they said, and then I will come back and check it. I can kind of turn it out and turn it back in, and that's what I'll do, and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, I have two minutes left, so I'm just going to take a quick look here just to see how they are baking. Okay, there is actual sizzling going on in there. I know it's probably hard to see, but it is happening. All right, so I'm going to leave these unsalted, I decided. I'm going to salt a few and see so let's leave that I will come back now and I'm gonna give that a few more minutes but let's make the next set of pretzels all right prepping the next batch so I won't do this every time but I just want to show you at least a another time I do like the pretzel making part though so I'll definitely show you that here we go I'll do these side ones first I don't even know how many I can get out of this. It's hard to do left-handed, that's for sure. That's pretty neat. It's good consistency, too. I had a feeling I would need to give that a shake. All right, I will check back then when this first batch is ready. Oh, there's the timer. I'm going to give it another minute or two just to be safe. All right, first batch is ready. It's actually turning brown. And I just want to get the salt. That's what you heard me do on this set before it bakes. They say you could do it before. Actually, I think the picture did show it salting before. But I know not everybody likes salt on their pretzels. I do. Let's just verify what it says. Okay, the tray may be salted before applying mix as well as after. Okay, so let's just slide this down. Now what should happen is this set of pretzels, hopefully they're a little brown. They should be. Oh, they are, look at that. That one got close to the bulb. Okay, that tray is in. 
So basically it's supposed to cool here. Okay, so I went 10 minutes, so now I'm gonna go nine minutes on this next tray, but I can actually make the next uh, set of pretzels. So let me reset this. Nine minutes. I'm gonna try to get this just right, because the longer it's on, of course, then I gotta keep adjusting, so I'll get it right on the next batch. All right, here we go. Looks like that first one came out really nice. A little darker, but it'll sure be crispy, won't it? And it looks like it was just in the center where the bulb was. It almost looks like it puffed up a little too and rose up from the tray. All right. I did this one. I went a different path. Okay. Can't wait to taste my pretzels. Okay, I will check back in. All right, I did want to show you there's a little spot here for this sign. I've been trying to keep it up with this sticky stuff, but it just doesn't want to completely stay in place. Let's see. Ooh, that'll stay for a little bit. Here, I'll tell you what, we can at least turn this batch down and we'll see how it comes out. And that worked. Let's see, these guys, yes. You can tell they are crispy. Now they're supposed to go on my little stand. All right, let me turn it back. So these are back in the oven. I will keep checking back and then keep making them. All right, the next batch is ready. I'm about to move this in. I wanted to kind of show you the whole process from a distance so you can just see. I can't imagine being a kid in 65 getting this under the Christmas tree. Ooh, that's a nice brown. Actually, I wonder if the whole thing, perfect timing by the way. It's just warming up a little bit better. It's a little more even on that one. Let me just turn it in. Oops, you don't want to come out, huh? Let me grab, I got my, here, I'm gonna use my finger. We'll see, they say, be careful, but I think it's okay. Okay, that one is not, that one is still stuck in there. All right, there we go. Move that tray back into the right position. Let me just hold this pretzel up so you can kind of see. Now that's a nice looking pretzel. So I will continue the process. I'll see how many I can get out of there and then uh, we will continue on.
Okay, here we go. This is the last batch. You've seen me make quite a few. I just kind of went silent there so you can just enjoy the process. That's been about 10 minutes. You can see it's lightly brown just around that bottom edge there, but I'm going to stop it there. This is another unsalted batch. I'll have to sort through all those, salted and unsalted. All right, when I come back then, I am going to give these a taste. All right, I was going to sort them off camera and thought, well, I'll do it with you while we're here together. I'll just put them all on this tray. Had to have a Pepsi, right? I've been drinking this Pepsi Zero. Sometimes I call it Pepsi One. I don't know, I just make a mistake there. Is there a Pepsi One and a Pepsi Zero? I don't know. All right, let's get some mustard. That's the best thing for... Ooh, can you see that there? Pretzels. Cheese, too, is good. All right, so let's just take this whole stack. So you can see. And let's grab these. There are varying degrees of lightness and darkness, but they all appear to be crispy and buttery, so... I think in that sense, it came out pretty good. Actually, I should probably put the pretzel jetzel as my backdrop here, right? Because it's been with me now for a good hour or more making all these pretzels. There it is. It's actually pretty fun, easy to do. All right, so let's just grab an unsalted one and see if we get a good crunch. A really nice crunch. The thing I, I like about it is that it's very buttery tasting, which is good. All right, here's a salted one. I was able to get the coloring down pretty good. Here we go. Mmm. That is my favorite one right there, the salted pretzel. All right, so these are the pretzel, pretzel rods, right? That one was not crispy. Let me try one of these darker ones here. Salted. Pretty good. Uh, and that is very refreshing after all that work. Got pretty hot in here with this thing going. Overall, I'm really happy with it. See how nice the pretzels look here. Let me lay a few down here so you can kind of get a closer look. This was the second one, I believe, was the darkest one. That was the first one I made. And I kind of got it to where it was a nice even coloring see that in the middle it seems like that's the darkest spot because that's where the bulb is hitting all right i hope you enjoy this maker i'm planning on doing more of them for you as always it just takes a little more time to get these prepped and ready and everything in working order and thanks for watching and supporting the channel so go in that description i'm gonna eat this one the really burnt one let's see and look for the playlist for all the other kids' toy food makers. Mmm. I kind of like it that way. And if you can give the video a thumbs up, share it on social media, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for supporting me and the channel. It means a lot. Leave me a comment. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.